figure out one life. traffic jams, plus being most effective during morning hours. These two things made me think that, okay, after some short experiment of uh, going to, to these classes uh, and having the Spanish classes five times a week, I can do it more effectively. One day from this uh, public course to which I'm going um, will give me like almost one week of the effective classes uh, at home. Time will show. Uh, I didn't resign from this public course at all, so I got a chance to come back there. I know what I'm missing, I know what methods to use in order to learn. I got uh, tons of materials at home and online that I can use. The thing is that I have to be... I have to be systematic as with learning code and design. Spanish is important for me, but it's not the priority. The priority right now is learning to code. Everybody has got just one, one life. And everybody has the same 24 hours. So the thing, the thing is how you manage the time. The thing is how you spend it. Self-awareness is cool and knowing your flows, knowing your energy flows is really important to learn more effectively. And if you don't know your priorities and you take the life as it comes, you don't use it wisely. I prefer being aware, I prefer choosing on my own and conducting some experiments, not being afraid to change the decision and try something new. If it goes with my priorities, if it's okay with what I wanna achieve uh, in life. It's Tuesday. I'm researching how to present the design section and uh, I've discovered that the project that I wanted to show uh, already has some problems. It seems that the API has been changed. This is the minus when designing stuff and uh, implementing the code that's connected with the API that does not belong to you. All of a sudden it can change and you gotta change your code. It's Wednesday. I want to show my design skills uh, in the portfolio but I'm not sure how to do it. It was the best way, which projects to choose, how to describe them. Some of them I cannot show, and this is the problem. When you have NDA and you did something for clients you are proud of, but you cannot show it. So, um, so I'm wondering how to do it and what to show. So, no idea right now. Maybe it will come with the day, in the, later during the day, during the meetings. Let's see. Sevilla and she is on her trip to Malaga, that's why we decided to meet to talk about our code and revise it a bit. Mm, and uh, the second meeting that I'm going to have today is with the product designer. I hope to show him also a bit of my portfolio and to ask about some advice. The main reason that, that, that we are meeting for is uh, to discuss his uh, talk. Uh, there in front of Malaga. The meetup is focused on front end and design and since he has a lot of experience I hope he would share it with the rest of the community. It's 
Wednesday in the evening. I just came back from the two meetings that I had. The first one was with uh, Free Code Camper uh, from Sevilla. We were revising our code and we were discussing our design and uh, learning from ourselves. So I, I got discovered a few things from D3 today and uh, um, JavaScript. It was really awesome meeting, really productive one. I learned a lot. The second meeting I had, it was uh, really motivating when it comes to the person and the story and his experience. Uh, he is the designer uh, with uh, about 20 years of experience and I really enjoyed this meeting because of many aspects. Um, he, uh, he motivated me a lot to learn design and to, to try harder and this was really, really awesome. And. Um, meeting the people who are also doers, meeting the people who have the interesting story to share and who try hard to develop, to, to live real life and to, to do a lot of stuff, not just only to spend their life passively. It's really motivating. Visualizing your goals helps and um, if you uh, see the people who, who were on the same path but a few years ago or who are uh, at the same path right now, uh, it's, um, it can be motivating, it can be inspiring, you can learn a lot and you can uh, take the energy f from it for your fight. One more takeaway, if you're watching this but you are the person with a lot of experience who can share their story, their struggles they had, do not hesitate to share it. You choose the form, it may be the article, it may be the video, it may be the post, it, whatever you want. Sharing is something awesome. You don't have to do it, nobody will make you do it, but it, it can help so many people. Thursday. I won't have too much time today to work on the code itself, but uh, I decided to uh, work on the materials and the content for the design section. And for sure I will be iterating over it and changing the projects, adding the stuff uh, with time. So I will use the time that I have today uh, for creating the content there, for taking out the best example, for recording some movies, for um, designing how to tell the story and what to focus on. It's Friday! I'm doing cross-browser testing and checking also the page on various devices. It's Saturday in the evening, this is how the page looks right now, so I introduced smooth scrolling working on portfolio sections i introduce also new mock-ups it's easier to focus on the design right now the page is available at the one who does uh, right now i still need to introduce some changes like add the design items the design cases i'm working on i want to correct a bit the, uh, the routines here I will also need to uh, run the speed test and optimize the, the images and generally the CSS, uh, JavaScript and, and things like that. And what I did this week was uh, testing thoroughly the page and fixing some bugs. This week I also had uh, two uh, mega inspiring meetings and uh, I was uh, revising the code of my previous project, uh, doing some small changes, learning the basic stuff like the beginnings. Uh, during this meeting uh, of D3 and uh, how how I should start with it. Next week I'm going to analyze the state machine and how it works because it seems to be pretty useful for understanding the state and programming the logic uh, in various apps. I will be also working on the next stage of the design project. So I can show you that but it will take me uh, some time but hopefully I will also learn something new uh, and uh, I will be able to share it with you. Keep on doing and see you next week!